Over the next 24 hours, we experience a tour of the medieval castle, soak up the sun, and of course, play the board game Carcassonne in Carcassonne. Welcome to 24 Hours in Carcassonne. Carcassonne, located in the south of France, is a historic medieval town that has much to offer for a short weekend away. We stayed in a medieval themed Airbnb just off of Place Carnot Square, which I already made a video about, so click the link in the description if you want to see that, but here's a quick overview of it anyway. We started our day by having breakfast on the balcony, which was lovely. The modern town is about a 15 to 20 minute walk from Carcassonne's main attraction, Chateau Comtal de Carcassonne. So we think we're coming up to what is going to be the first view of the medieval city um, so we're gonna get our reactions to it it'll be funny if it's not that <laughs> or is this the bridge we have to cross this is over the bridge we're going there. <gasps> it's Very like cool. a fairy tale it's like a fairy tale my camera definitely doesn't do this view justice, so I'm sorry that it doesn't seem as impressive as we made it out to be in the previous clip. But a little more walking uphill brings you to the medieval town, and this is the entrance. The town dates back to the 13th century, and as you make your way towards the castle, you can walk through the medieval streets and soak up the feel of being back in time. It's only €9.50 Euros to enter the castle and the ramparts, which I actually think is a really good price. And this is the first view of the courtyard, which is stunning. Inside the first room, there are seven information stands to read. They are all in French, but at the bottom of the display, they have put QR codes so you're able to read along in a different language. The next room had a miniature display of what it would have looked like back in the Middle Ages, and we got our first glimpse of one of the many stunning views of the town. On one of the information displays, it stated that on a good day, you can see the Pyrenees Mountains, which is the mountain range that separates Spain and France. And I got on camera the moment we realised we could clearly see them in the distance. Oh, wow, yeah, those are the Pyrenees. Oh, wow, I didn't even, oh my God, I didn't even notice, I didn't even see them. But you look at the wow. top of those mountains, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is a good day. This tower here actually dates back to the 4th century and is one of the few remaining Roman structures left within the medieval city. So we just finished the tour of the chateau. Um, it took about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, we're gonna explore the city inside it now. But yeah, it took about 45 minutes, would you say? Yeah. We got here about half 10 and then, actually no, about an hour, because now it's about half 11. So about an hour. So we were just talking to these two lovely people behind us um, and basically they're running this sort of like observing workshop in the courtyard and so they were explaining how like um, basically we kind of read about it how like um, over the years the architecture changed um, with different people and so it's all built on top of the old stuff um, and so they were just running this workshop where you can like p pick out printed pictures that they've got and make your own little carcass and building so that's what we just did super cute <laughs> it was very cute okay i was definitely wrong because we walked through the shop i thought that was the end and it was only about an hour's look around the chateau but um it continues past the shop so yeah and now we're coming up to the main reason that me and my boyfriend wanted to come to Carcassonne. There is a board game called Carcassonne where you have to build a city to score points. And we're a little bit obsessed with this game. Even the city is, as you could buy it in nearly every shop we went into. And even our Airbnb had its own copy. But we brought our own with us. And we even played it in the park, which I'll show more of later in this video. But the box to the board game has a very specific view of the castle on it. And we wanted to try and recreate it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason we came. Because we love playing Carcassonne. And we wanted to see this view. And this go. is the view. <laughs> wow. So we got the picture. I will insert it now. And yeah, we had to do it in separate goes because there wasn't actually much space we couldn't do it together but that was fun <laughs> i can't believe they made the board game cocks on into a city that's Madness. crazy <laughs> <laughs> 
Past this viewpoint, there is an amphitheatre inside the walls of the castle and you get a great view of the cathedral. Okay, so we've come to this little restaurant, Le Trivera, probably just butchered that, um, and they have given us an English menu because we are clearly very English, um, and we're both going to have burgers. <laughs> Our food has arrived, we have both gone with burgers, I've gone for a cheeseburger, and Toby has gone for a double stack. <laughs> After lunch, we decided to have a leisurely stroll around the outside of the castle, which is free to do. Whilst in Carcassonne, you may notice these red information displays. They are dotted all around the medieval town and the modern town, giving visitors a free history lesson about whatever building they are looking at. Explain what you found. <laughs> Nothing. No, nothing went in. You learned nothing. Okay. So that is our time in the castle and in the medieval like village. Um, it is 10 to 3 and we got here about half 10. So it's a good few hours to look around and visit to the shops and get some lunch and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun and definitely the top thing on your list when you come to Carcassonne. Walking back towards the modern part of the town, you can cut through this gorgeous part which has the river Ord running through it. We sat down by the river to people watch and soak up the sun. We also played a game of Carcassonne here as well. So we're playing Carcassonne in the park and Carcassonne Castle is in the background. This is so cute. This is our completed Carcassonne city game outside of the real Carcassonne city. Let's see who's going to win. It looks like I have a score of 151 and Becca has a score of 222. So, congratulations, my love. Good game. Now. What? Oh, I did a, I did a thing where I, I'd said that by the magic of editing, I'd be up here now. And then I said now when I got up here. So tell us something about Carcassonne that you learned today. So the castle was built basically with like new bits on top of it. So you can actually see, can you see from here? Maybe not, I'll be too far away. But <laughs> there are different like designs from the different architects who kind of built it up after like stuff had broken from it um, and you can really see the difference on the outside of the walls it's pretty cool walking a little further along in the park you will find this small bridge that is surrounded by rocks it was such a calming place to sit and just watch the world go by Now, you may be wondering what else you can do in Carcassonne. Well, you can visit the dome, St. Michael's Cathedral, On a Saturday, they have a market. Thank you for coming along with us for 24 hours in Carcassonne. Subscribe for more travel-related content, and I'll see you on my next trip.